Hi, I'm Lisa Bronner. Welcome to my seven episode series of lab coat moments found in my book, Soap and Soul. Try these at home for a front row seat to the science behind the recipes and recommendations. Wow! In this episode, we're comparing the concentration of Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap and a store brand generic Castile Soap to find out which contains more soap and therefore more cleaning power for your money. This is a simple setup. Take two identical shot glasses. I'm gonna get a starting weight on them. They are both 75 grams. Add one tablespoon of soap to each. Now the experiment begins. Let the shot glasses sit out for several days until all the water content evaporates. Here is a set that I put out four days ago. This one is the Dr. Bronner's Castile, and this one is the generic store brand. Already, the Dr. Bronner's is almost solidified. The store brand is still quite watery. I'm going to use a toothpick to push aside the solid soap in the Dr. Bronner's to make sure any remaining liquid can get up to the surface. Here is a pair I set out six days ago. The water content has now evaporated from both. This is the Dr. Bronner's Castile, and this is the generic store brand. I can see by looking at them that there's a lot more soap left in the Dr. Bronner's Castile, but let's weigh them to find out how much. The Dr. Bronner's Castile weighs 85 grams. The generic store brand weighs 79 grams. If we subtract out the 75 grams for the shot glass, that means that we have nine grams of Castile soap and we have four grams of the generic store brand. That's twice as much soap content in the Dr. Bronner's. That means there is more than twice as much soap in the Dr. Bronner's Castile. That means twice as much cleaning power per bottle and your bottle goes twice as far because you need to use so much less each time. Money saved. In the next episode, we'll look at freezing Castile soap with Epsom salts. <laughs>